Hey, welcome to the ski brief for the trip to Bormio. Currently, police report there is snow in Bormio uh, as we report. What you're going to receive now over the next four to five minutes is the brief for the whole of the trip. Pupils we will receive a separate brief over the next forthcoming Tuesday, but I will send out information for that separately in due course. We're away for eight days, 13th to 20th of December. We've got 42 pupils and six members of staff making up our tour party. Our ski instructors will be provided locally in resort. Uh, we'll have five of those and Mr Tripp, also part of our team, will be providing ski instruction on a daily basis. We're staying at the Hotel Nevada in Bormio. The ski area is set over three areas. Presently, uh, my understanding is there's snow on the ground from Bormio 2000 as far up as, as 3000. Hopefully over the next couple of weeks, it will make its way um, down and settle into the resort, which will make the whole ex experience very good indeed. Our hotel location is right next to the gondola, so a pretty short start to the day and an end of day uh, routine business will allow us to move straight into the hotel. The town itself is located between five and 800 metres away. All pupils will be taken into town and given a, a guided tour prior to being letting down into town in the evenings after a ski activity um, to do any sh shopping and picking up any bits and pieces. I've advised in the letter how much money to take um, please refer to that and try and avoid from um, any of the pupils taking copious amounts of money. There may be billing at the end of the tour for some of the activities. We hope to have pitched the price correctly that there shouldn't be any additional cost at the end of the tour. So this will be my fourth ski trip since I've been at the school. We're taking uh, Sam trip with us who will coordinate the majority of the administration and is a ski instructor. We're taking Mel from the Med Centre as the uh, trip lead nurse. Mr Ewins from the Mathematics Department and numerous ski trips previously is also coming along and Mr Kelly Duncan, PE teacher at Fire Park College who is a seasoned skier. In addition to that, Carrie, the house matron and my wife will also be attending um, who works on a daily basis within St Paul's. Hello, my name's Mel Gittens. I'm the lead nurse here at Prior Park College. So this is the section for the ski trip uh, or medical information. So paperwork will be sent out shortly to parents and guardians. On that information will require details of next of kin, any ongoing medical information, any ongoing injuries, medications such as um, things that any of the children might be taking. All the relevant risk assessments have been conducted. Um, if students are bringing medication on the school trip, please could they come and speak to me beforehand so that we can work out dosage times and what it is that they need to have. If they are under the age of 16, I will be holding all of their medication for them. Over the age of 16, then they can do a self-admission um, form for their medication. When it comes to giving medication on the expedition, we will have the usual uh, paracetamol and ibuprofen as per our minor ailments policy. I'll be able to give that to any of the students. Um, all of that will be done through myself so that that way we can keep a track of who's had what and when. The medical plan during the ski expedition, if there is an incident on the slopes, all of the instructors are first aid trained. Um, Bormio itself has a variety of doctors, dentists and hospitals should the pupils need any help with regards to injuries. With regards to any of the pupils having an illness or an injury during the ski trip, we have a, a plan in place that a member of staff will be able to stay with them depending on what the injury or the illness is. That will either be at the hotel in Bormio or up at 2000, uh, so they will be supported by a member of staff during that time. So that's all the information I have for now. Really looking forward to the ski trip and the pupils as well and making some really fun memories. Thank you. Okay, what I'd like to talk about now is expectations and pupil behaviour. It's 
paramount that pupils follow the instruction of all staff and in particular ski instructors whilst we're away there, there can't be there you know there is no room for negotiation on what they may or may not do whilst we're on the slope they come under the responsibility of our italian ski instructors if they misbehave the ski instructors will have no qualms in removing them from the group and that will mean a lonely day in a cafe halfway up the slope with one of Polar Park College team members. Safety throughout is paramount. There are between five and eight risk assessments okay, that have been drafted to cover okay, children's and staff safety whilst away on this tour. Each member of staff and each pupil will be briefed on what the expectations are and again I ask for your support and reminding your children that behaviour okay, must be of the highest standards at all times. We are there though to enjoy ourselves, but we can only do that if the children buy into uh, what's expected of them. It will be a learning process for some of them. I'll be more explained later on how the ski process will work. The first day is an assessment and they must ski within their ability. If they think they are a seasoned skier and ski outside their capability on the first assessment morning, they will not be in the experienced group. They will probably be in the intermediate um, group. So, you know, please make sure that they ski sensibly. Rooms, rooming uh, will be confirmed two weeks prior to us arriving in Italy. It's important that children check their rooms for any damage prior to us signing for the accommodation. Thereafter that, we are liable for any damage. If the damage hasn't been reported, then I'm afraid that we will need to foot that bill or the occupants of that room, if they haven't checked their room correctly, will be liable for any damage supplement to be paid. When we're travelling in and around town, okay, pupils will need to book out in groups of four, um, maximum of six. It's okay that they then meet within the confides of town in a cafe or a uh, hot, hot chocolate. There are numerous crepe stands as well. The children can meet there, but they should okay, not be in any large groups of four to six. They will book out at the hotel. There's always a duty member of staff on duty before they depart for town and members of the staff do go down into the town just in case anyone needs to be called upon for any assistance. Never had a problem before and don't envisage having a problem um, whilst we're there. In particular I'd like to say this message to um, all boys and all, and all girls whilst on the tour. Within the hotel we must respect that there are other hotel hoteliers okay, staying within the resort whilst we are there. Under no circumstances are boys to enter girls' rooms and girls are not to enter boys' rooms. All meetings must take place within the social areas of the hotel. And really the final point I want to make is, uh, regardless of who you're sharing the room with, please don't expect you have their permission to use their equipment. Now I often uh, try and use my wife's hair straighteners, um, but she's not very comfortable with that. I don't know why, but please, um, Remind your children not to use other people's equipment when in rooms from phones to music devices to iPads or uh, any other um, personal belongings that they, that they may have, their, their personal belongings uh, for a reason. Uh, look forward to seeing you all soon. Hello, my name's Sam Tripp. I am the school staff instructor for the Combined Cadet Force at Prior Park College. I am one of the Alpine ski leaders that are going to be on the week trip away to Bormio and I'm here to talk about the equipment and kit that you're going to need. Now the equipment list will be sent out to you shortly and on that equipment list everything is compulsory. Uh, everything through to the salopettes, the jackets, ski socks, all your underlayers and all the extras on there. The things you don't have to provide yourselves are ski boots, skis, ski poles, and also helmets. Um, that's all provided by the ski hire shop, included in the in the trip cost um, when you get onto the ski ski resort itself. A few advice points for equipment whilst they're skiing. Um, start with ski socks. Uh, ski socks are quite thin and can be sourced from all sorts of websites or outdoor pursuits uh, shops. 
Now, ski socks, I say, are thin and they're not big fluffy socks like walking socks. They need to be like that so they fit nice and snug within the boot. Um, if you do end up, or they do end up wearing thick ski uh, walking socks, then it's not going to be very, very comfortable whilst they're actually skiing. Additionally to that, the toenails. Toenails always seem to become a problem about halfway through the week. They start to rub as the, the boot itself is very, very snug to the foot. So it's worth encouraging them to give them a cut just before they're, uh, they're about to go on the actual expedition. Now with regards to outer layers, a decent set of salopettes and a ski jacket will normally last the week. Um, just the one will, will normally be suffice. Um, other than that, what you will still want to actually think about are the underlayers. Now, underlayers are the key to keeping the warmth or cool whilst we're out on the ski slopes themselves. You can change them daily and you can layer up as necessary. Now, the temperatures out there at the moment are around about minus 12. Um, last year we were skiing in plus 4, plus 5. So, the weather out there is very varied. It's a little bit far out yet to get a, a detailed uh, weather picture, but the idea is thin underlayers that you can add or take away depending on the temperatures. Kind of final little advice point I can give is gloves. Now it's worth getting a thin underlayer pair of gloves as well as your thick kind of ski gloves. It does help when the warmer days or the more active training sessions to have the thinner gloves rather than the large fluffy uh, ski gloves as well. All of this equipment can weigh quite a lot. Now you've got to be conscious whilst packing the kit and encouraging your children not to pack too much as the hold limit is 20 kilograms on the aircraft. That's not a lot to get a lot of ski kit in there. So just be conscious when choosing the kit and how much they are packing for the trip. We do recommend holdalls. They tend to pack better onto the coaches and for, for transporting them around in, in the airports additionally. Hello, my name is Mr. Ewins. I am a maths teacher at Pride Park. I'm going to talk to you briefly about the travel arrangements from Bristol to Formia. Uh, we meet at Pride Park at 10 o'clock. Uh, we've gone on the coach and we go, get to Bristol Airport. When we get to Bristol Airport, we will form our travel groups and the teacher responsible for that group will ensure that we get through check-in with all passport details, etc, etc. And we'll get on the plane. When we get on the plane, you will be allocated a seat. That's your seat. Uh, sit in that seat, uh, obviously you're free to move around during the flight, but um, that's your seat and that's your allocation. Um, when we get to uh, Bormio, we'll have a coach transfer of about three hours, we'll take a break, uh, have a, a snack or two. Um, when we get to the hotel, there will be an opportunity to have some food, there'll be a briefing, and you will get an opportunity to ch uh, check into your room um, at that point. Uh, in the evening there might even be an opportunity to do a ski fit as well. Moving on to day two, uh, the ski fit will take place in the morning if it hasn't already taken place the day before. Uh, that will involve obviously fitting all the skis, boots and poles and helmet. Once that's completed then we can move out onto the slopes and where all the ski instructors get together and they conduct a basic assessment on the, the ability levels of the students. Now it's important you remind the students not to go crazy on these assessments. It's about safety and their ability levels. So just remind them that they need to do their best skiing but the safest skiing at the same time. Just remember that going fast doesn't always mean you can ski well. Now from the ski assessments the students will move straight out onto the slopes uh, be it whatever group they've been allocated they may move straight out onto some of the more advanced slopes or stay on the nursery slopes for the basic introduction to skiing. Now those groups will stay for the week and the only reason they may move is if the ability levels are quite fractured but we will obviously will adjust that and make decisions accordingly as we go through the week. Hi I am Miss Duncan and I'm going to carry on the rest of the ski trip itinerary. From day two to day six they are all very similar. You need to turn up to breakfast in your full kit where we will travel up to 2000. After you travel up to 2000 you will then have two hours of skiing in the morning and you, which point you will return to 2000 for lunch. After lunch, you will go off for another two hours of skiing. After two hours of skiing in the afternoon, you will return to the hotel where you will have the supper. And then after supper, we will be having some evening activities. This could be potentially tobogganing, spa or meal out, etc. 
And then on your day six, which is the final ski day, you'll do exactly the same as before, but then after you have your two hours in the afternoon, you will return your, all your ski kit. And then we'll be packing up the coach and returning to Prior Park. Travel back is the exact opposite as you travel there, and we should be arriving back at Prior Park about 9 p.m., but that may change. Hi, I'm Curry, and just to let you know, there'll be a WhatsApp group, so we will upload videos um, and keep in touch. All of the staff have access to this, and um, it will be done hopefully daily um, time depending. But we can't guarantee that everybody is in every video or photo that we send. So it's going to be an amazing trip. The kids always love it, and we look forward to it. That concludes the ski brief. You've met the team. If you've got any other questions or you want to come in and meet me or any other members of the team, then please don't hesitate in getting in contact. Shortly, I'll send some forms. Please complete them ASAP to allow us to move smoothly, to, smoothly towards a successful trip.